Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating a public folder in Outlook, you are the folder's owner. You must then decide which network users can access the folder and what types of activities they can perform. To set the public folder's permissions in Outlook if you are the folder's owner or granted the owner permission by the folder's owner, right-click the public folder for which to set permissions in the folder pane in Outlook. Then select the Properties command from the pop-up menu that appears to open the Properties dialog box. If you see a tab in this dialog box that says Summary, that means you don't have the required permission level to modify the public folder's permissions. If you believe you should have that permission level, contact your network administrator or the folder's owner to change your permission level. If you can set permissions on the public folder, then you should see a tab that says Permissions appear when you open the Properties dialog box. Click that tab to view the public folder's permissions. There are three default permissions. These are the Folder Owner's Permission, the Default Permission, and the Anonymous Permission. The default permission is the permission level granted to all network users who do not have explicitly defined permissions for the selected public folder. To change the permission level of all users who access this public folder, change the permission level of the default identity. To do this, click the default identity in the list at the top of the Permissions tab. Then view the permissions for that role in the Permissions section below it. To change the role of the default permission, Use the Permission Level drop-down. The permission level you choose from the list changes the associated permissions listed beneath the Permission Level drop-down. To enhance security, if the public folder's content is sensitive, you may want to completely restrict access to the default permission and then specify individual permissions for users on the network to whom to grant folder access. In this scenario, consider adding and setting individual permissions for only the users required to access the public folder, and then setting the default permission level to none. Alternatively, if everyone must access the folder's content, you could change the default permission so everyone can see the material in the folder if not edit it. Then you could add users to whom to grant editing and deleting permissions in that folder. You can add individuals or groups to the public folder's permission list only if they are network users. This gives you precise control over network user access and the activities they can perform. You can also delete user permissions that are no longer applicable. For example, if a user departs the organization, you should delete any access to the organization's public folders they had. To add a user or group on the permissions tab, click the Add button below the list of users to open the Add Users dialog box. This is like the Select Names dialog box used to address email. Select the user or users to add from the list, and then click the Add button to move the users into the text box at the bottom of the dialog box. When finished adding the users for whom to set individual folder permissions, click the OK button to add them to the permissions list. Then to specify each user's permission settings, select their name within the permissions list, and then select a role from the Permission Level drop-down below the list. Let's review the permissions for each permission level. The owner can create, read, change, or delete any items in the folder. They can create subfolders too. They can grant and modify all permissions for the folder. The publishing editor can create, read, change, and delete all items. They can also create subfolders. The editor can create, read, change, and delete all items. The publishing author can create and read items and create subfolders. They can also change and delete items they created. The author can create and read items. They can also change and delete items they created. A non-editing author can create and read items. A reviewer can read items only. A contributor can create items only. The folder's contents will not appear, meaning they have no read access. You can also create a custom permission level that can perform any activities that are specified by the folder's owner. The None permission level has no permission in this folder. The public folder's owner can create a custom permission level by manually applying the desired individual permission settings below the permission level dropdown. 
This lets them create custom permissions in case the default permission levels do not fully allow or restrict the desired activities. The permission level dropdown only shows custom after you start making selections from the settings below it. To apply the public folder's permissions after setting them, click the OK button at the bottom of the public folder's properties dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.